This is a snake game which I've written in Java some time ago and is posted on the website as shown. This snake game is very si similar to the snake game found in the old Nokia phones. Let's see how it works. There's a slight difference here between this one and those that we find in uh, the other uh, uh, in the Nokia phones uh, in the sense that um, there are obstacles around uh, in, on the play area where we have to avoid. Uh, but the general idea is the same. We are supposed to be uh, going for the uh, eggs or the food. So the snake is supposed to go and look for those uh, food or the uh, uh, eggs in this case and eat them up and uh, as the eggs are eaten the snakes will grow in its length and uh, in this particular version if the snake were to hit a obstacle like this one um, that's the uh, the game will be over the Nokia snake game can also be written using Excel for VBA and this is what I have come up with now uh, in this particular program if I click start we see a snake being uh, placed on the on the board and at the same time there is this blue cell and that represents the eggs that we are supposed to be eating. Let's see how it works. Now um, in this uh, version instead of using buttons on, on the Excel worksheet we have programmed the um, uh, arrow buttons on the keyboard to control the snake. So let's go. So I'm using the keyboard to control the movement of the snakes and it's uh, <coughs> moving along to uh, um, pick up all the eggs and as the uh, eggs are being eaten the uh, snake as you can see uh, will grow longer and uh, in this uh, particular version um, we do not allow the snake to hit the boundary and what happens when the hit snake hits the boundary um, the game will be over there are a few things that we need to know and a few points to remember when we write this uh, program in Excel to implement the uh, snake game. The first thing that we need to know is the use of Windows API. An API is an application programming interface. And this is simply a function that's pre-written by Windows to allow the programmer to uh, write um, programs or code that can um, interact with uh, other components or other parts of the computer or other parts of the uh, Windows uh, uh, operating system. Um, in this particular case, what we want is to be able to define certain keys like the up, down, left and right uh, arrow keys so that the user may use these to uh, move the snake around. Some of the other things that, uh, that we need to know is uh, involving would involve the, the use of uh, uh, certain uh, variables to define the snake and its uh, properties. For instance, we need to uh, have uh, uh, something, some array of some sort to remember or keep track of the position of the individual sections of the snake. Uh, we need to have an integer, for example, to keep track of the length of the snake and also another integer to uh, keep uh, in mind the current uh, direction that the snake head is pointing towards. So all these we make use of the usual variables that we know. In terms of the variable that uh, clearly defines uh, what the, the snake position, um, a useful variable would be an array. Uh, in fact, it is a 2D array and it, um, and uh, which uh, each element of the array consists of two parts. One part is the x coordinate and the other one is the y coordinate of the um, position of each section. So for instance, the first element will represent the head, the snake head. The second element will be the second section of the snake and so on. Now, um, we also will need to have a few other procedures or subroutines uh, to print the snake as in the current snake uh, uh, snake uh, in terms of its, uh, the, all the positions of its uh, sections and uh, print the correct color uh, in other words color the cells uh, with the appropriate color we need to be able to update the snake as it moves 
uh, we need to grow the snake if uh, we need to uh, if if um, there is a need to grow the snake, and at the same time we need to check uh, the status of the snake whether it has hit something or has crashed, and so on. Uh, just one point about uh, displaying the current snake. Uh, one of the difficulties faced would be that when the snake is moving, of course we can then uh, change the position and color it accordingly. But um, we need to be able to then uh, move, uh, create this motion by having this, uh, the, the, the last position as it moves to the next uh, point, the last position has to be uncolored or cleared, the color got to be cleared off the cell. One way to trick um, the um, one, one way to implement this is to have a, 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 a tail at the end and uh, which is always uh, be a cleared color that means there's no color in the, in, in the tail so in this example for example if the head is one the sections are two three four and the last one is five we find that if we color the head red and then the other sections are green and the last section as clear no color then as we move along we need only to update and keep coloring it this way and it will give the illusion that the snake is moving this is one trick that can be uh, quite useful one more thing that we need to take note of is that when we find a new position for the for the egg or in this case the blue cell we need to make sure that it doesn't lie on any part of the snake in fact if it is no longer possible to place the cell, the blue cell or the egg on any any part of the board which is not occupied by the snake, then in fact it means that the player has beaten the game, has won everything. Okay, let's uh, pl play this game one more time. Now in this case we see that the snake is slowly growing, uh, getting longer as the uh, as it consumes uh, it chases the eggs and consume the eggs and uh, uh, one thing that, uh, that has also been implemented here is that um, the snake's uh, speed will progressively uh, get uh, faster will <laughs> increase and um, probably become harder to control with higher speed and uh, a longer snake 